Well, you're ready. Okay, perfect. Thanks again for not waiting, but enjoying the moment. And I'm doing the same. <laughs> We speak <clears throat> as Ringo. <clears throat> we are, as you understand, an aspect of the conduit, an aspect of the combined energies of all of your various connections, of the conduits, connections, and connectivities in that sense to different realms, to different densities, and primarily also to what you would understand to be, if you will, the hub of synchronicity of the Sasani civilization has been acting in a sense as a switchboard operator for this conduit in this way, for this particular communication, yet also, of course, creating what you understand to be, in this sense, a blending, this idea of a bridge, this idea of a new construct, which does then may allow you more clearly and more consciously to interact with varying aspects of yourself and even very simply allows you to interact in that sense more clearly 
with their own belief system, thus then in this way serving, if you will, we are, as your reflective surface, so that you may more easily recognize yourself. And of course, as always, understand that no matter what we may be offering to you, no matter what reflection we may be giving you in that sense, no matter what vibration you may deem to be picking up from us, it is all ultimately, it is all, if you will, originally your own creation for anything that we could possibly, in this sense, relate to you are always only ideas and energies and concepts that are already contained within your own being. Yet we are, of course, here right now to engage with you in this process of the conscious, if you will, revelation of many different ideas that previously may still have been unconscious to you or that previously you simply have not allowed yourself to ask in that sense consciously or simply to offer any degree, if you will, of clarity that we may reflect to you as this, if you will, particular configuration that we represent in this now. So does then, if you will, without any further ado at this point, we simply ask for any questions, any statements, any inquiries, any sharings that you may have right now. Girls, you can unmute yourself and ask if you All right, then it's up to me. <laughs> and hello, hello, Ringo. <clears throat> Hmm. I guess I, I would like to ask about uh, transmutation of uh, mm, of substances, and uh, if if we are able to, uh, or if you would would give us some mm, way how to uh, transmute toxins and heavy metals and things that, that we do not uh, want to have in our bodies or in, in our environment. Well, as you can understand, first of all, of course, you can originally, let us say, simply determine your preference of what state you wish, if you will, your own body to be in. In that sense, what ideas, what belief systems, and therefore also what in this way translated, expressed as chemical elements, let us say, you wish to be composed of, simply again the idea of how you wish to define yourself for just as your own belief systems in that sense or within the definition of your own personality construct, equally the makeup in this way of your own body also is included within the definition of your own personality construct and of course is always equally an expression of your own belief system. Thus then you can understand that your own body and the elements of which it is composed, whether you deem them to be toxic or preferable or not, is always equally an expression of that belief, of that perspective that you have about yourself. So, of course, there are many different approaches we may share in this regard. The prime idea would simply to allow yourself to imagine yourself in this sense, in the perfect state. You may even deem this your higher self state, in a sense, a future version of yourself, if you will. <clears throat> and then simply allow your synchronicity to bring to you any and all of the ideas that are contained within this excitement, in that sense to act out that particular version of your own parallel self, which is, if you will, composed of the preferred belief systems. And therefore also, if you will, in your example, let us assume 
composed, if you will, of the materials of your physical reality in such a way that you would deem it to be, if you will, beneficial for the reception of different streams of energy, different ideas of consciousness, and in general, let us say a quote unquote higher frequency, or simply allow the conscious access for a wider range, a wider array, a wider range of frequencies, and also to be, if you will, quite practical. We would like to remind you that, of course, you have many different protocols upon your own planet, starting with the ideas of breath and sun and exercise and diet and different ideas of what you would call supplements that may greatly assist this idea of a detoxification process. Yet at the same time, we would also like to remind you that many of these approaches, of course, are all permission slips and are all in some way, shape or form, if you will, suitable for the application from within a linealized mind. And that is all well and good. This is how they may serve you. This is how also through this process, you may ease yourself into, if you will, from a linear perspective into more, if you will, a holistic view of yourself. And one of the aspects contained within this idea may also be the concept of what you may understand to be biological transmutation. The simple idea that in actuality, any and all of you, any and all of what you would understand to be living entities, in actuality have the great capacity within themselves to transmute elements within their own body. So even here, you are not, if you will, merely a linearized input-output, simple calculation combination system, but also here, let us say, the quote-unquote state of being, or what you may judge as state of toxicity of your own body, or state of cleanliness in a sense, or state of reception, is always directly determined by you, and even here is not truly dependent on any outside circumstance, yet they are again a merely the reflection of your own self view that you allow yourself to act out in each and every now. So in that sense also by acting healthy, whatever this may mean to you, you may greatly assist your body to reflect that state to you as well. <clears throat> Did we in some ways answer your question? Yes, yes. Very comprehensively, nicely. And we thank you. <clears throat> no. I For the like... complexity you recognize within yourself. Although at the core, of course, you know, it is all truly very, very simple. Yes. And uh, um, so I would like to expand on that. Uh, so my... Uh, my approach would be to uh, know that I can use everything positively. <clears throat> so even toxins then, then stop being toxins or poisons for me. It, it, I can then know that my body can not only handle them, but use them positively for my benefit. And uh, with, that, with that belief, I, I would... I would approach everything now. What would you comment on that? <clears throat> well, I would, it would be that certainly, no matter what circumstance, no matter what so-called, as you understand, neutral prop that you may encounter within your own world, this idea of defining everything as positive and in that sense as serving you, certainly from our perspective, if you will, is just as we do it, we would deem maybe an approach which can be, if that is your choice, most in a sense beneficial and most enjoyable for all of you, for many of you. At the very same time, we would like to ask you also here not to have any expectation on what that positive definition should necessarily include, for it may also then simply include that you do not find yourself within environments so much anymore or do not ingest substances so much anymore that within the current configuration of your own personality construct and the basic template configuration of your own physicalized biological <clears throat> vessel already by themselves, if you will, are 
beneficial, and in that sense, vitalizing. Can you follow this approach? Can you understand what we are referring to? Yes. Yeah. So while certainly you have the capacity to transform any and all, if you will, elements, ideas, even what you may deem to be toxic ideas or toxic substances, if you will, the acting out of the positive definition may also then simply include that you do not wish to consume these same ideas in the same way anymore. Also then, if you were relating to the idea of belief systems, that upon truly in that sense supplanting a previously limiting belief with a more positive belief, while the limited belief still exists within, if you will, the infinity of creation, it is not immediately relevant to you anymore. Therefore, if you have truly supplanted it with a more positive belief, or does then let us say truly in this way, corresponding to potentially a change in your diet or a change in your environment. So then this may also include, if you will, simply letting go of the old ideas. <clears throat> I see. Yes. <clears throat> that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> uh, how will I allow myself to breathe, breathe more easily? Well, how you will do it specifically is nothing that we can tell you. The most simple idea, of course, would be to, in any moment that this thought may come up, simply focus on your breath, consciously allow yourself, if you will, the time and the timing to simply watch this most fundamental and truly most vital process. There are, of course, many different tools, many different permission slips, many different meditation exercises Yet the simple idea would truly be that any time you catch yourself in that sense, thinking or intuiting about this idea, that you simply allow yourself to breathe and to become aware of your breath in that particular now, for that particular situation. <clears throat> Perfect, thank you. And we thank you. <clears throat> so now, I would like to ask something different, and that is, uh, if I find myself uh, after the conflict with my girlfriend, then uh, I'm I'm realizing sometimes that she she wants to she's open back to stop the conflict, but. Uh, uh, how will I discern if it if it's right time for me to approach her uh, as as if she would want to be with me, <laughs> or uh, or whether it's appropriate more appropriate for me to uh, like stay in that state? Um, well, where I'm not uh, I'm not uh, opening back to her yet. <laughs> or opening back like in the way that uh, I would approach her, touch her, kiss her. I don't do that when, when she uh, starts conflict with me and then uh, I want to know, know uh, what, what, do you, what would you say to, uh, to that? Is it, is it like uh, good for me <laughs> or for us to, to um hold back um in uh, in uh, um expressing the love like uh, we are used to do <coughs> or, or is it, is it better just to you know always transform it as, as soon as i can <coughs> Well, you understand that if you will also due to the potential, if you will, complexity of the human belief systems, there are always quite unique configuration in reference to any idea of what you may deem in some ways proximity or distance between two entities within any particular relationship. The main idea, of course, being to determine whether it is within your own true excitement to interact in this way and whether that same excitement 
excitement may be found within the other entity as well. <clears throat> Yet, if you will, primarily, we would say that you never need in this way to quote unquote, hold yourself back. If you can understand what we are implying. <clears throat> yes, yes, I, I don't want to uh, call it holding myself back because uh, that's how I feel, you know. Uh, at that moment, I feel feel like oh, I don't want to approach her, but I know I could, you know. <clears throat> so, it, in that in the, the context, it's not holding myself back. It's it's like uh, uh, allowing myself to be as I am. <clears throat> well, of course, you very well understand the main, if you will, discernment between love and fear. So now, when we ask you the question within these states, what is the primary emotion that is in that sense compelling you to act out in this way? And is there a different way that would feel to you to be more in love, not only necessarily with her, but truly with yourself? Right, right. Yes, yes. You, you tapped on it right now, and that, that's it. Did we stumble across her? <laughs> Stumbling yeah. together with you, most fun. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm with you too. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so it's 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 true that uh, that uh, when uh, I'm I don't want to approach her, then it's it's uh, usually or, or as <laughs> to my to my understanding, it's always. Uh, also, me not loving myself, perhaps. <clears throat> Very well. If you will discern in this sense, for everything is your own reflection. So, in many ways, she can be nothing but a symbol, a reflective symbol of, if you will, an aspect of your own self-love. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank Yet you. even here, feel free in your approach, whether you choose, if you will, proximity or distance in any given now. <clears throat> and even here, understand that there are many different, if you will, variants, modalities, and feelings, approaches that may be had, both within the idea of proximity and distance. They can both be quite enjoyable if, if you will, within the proper balance and the proper configuration in any relationship, Yes, also uh, I realize now that uh, when, when uh, I'm keeping distance and I'm with myself and I'm feeling those emotions that, that uh, uh, she triggers in me, then uh, if I, if I uh, at that moment uh, decide to approach her, it hurts more. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm just... Uh, usually uh, keeping distance and uh, being with, with myself with those emotions and and uh, and asking myself how can i bring more love to the situation <clears throat> yes and in this way you may in that sense feel less quote unquote distracted by the apparency if you will of the physicalized reality around you and then reflect the reflective symbols also represented as humans by in that sense secluding yourself by in a, this illusory fashion if you will <clears throat> isolating yourself from that particular idea then as you shared as you recognized yourself it may be much easier for you to clearly see and discern your own belief systems and see in that sense the situation and the emotion from a higher perspective and then also of course understand as always that within these processes the outside may only truly change once it is accepted once you have in that sense accepted yourself accepted that particular situation that particular emotion and then redefine your self-view and we understand that quite oftentimes this may be quite effectively achieved also through whatever degree of solitude. 
Yes. Thank you. <coughs> well, that's okay, thank all, you. all from me. So if anyone else has a question, please unmute yourself and ask. Hello. <coughs> well met. <coughs> I, I have a question. Yes. Um, it's regarding um, things that we ingest. Um, are we, when we ingest them, are we merging with their DNA, for example? <coughs> well, we would say that while there are certain aspects of this idea with very specific foods upon your planet. In general, it is not, let us say, directly this idea of a transference, yet however you can also understand that any and all, if you will, living entities, but also any and all what you may understand substances, no matter what size, not only have what you may deem to be a chemical composition, an atomic composition as you may call it, but are also always giving up, if, if you will, giving off a certain resonance. So certainly in many different ways you are interacting with any and all of the ideas that you are, let us say, ingesting, whether physically, emotionally, mentally or spiritually. <clears throat> Thank you. Does this answer your question? Or is there some more specific idea that you are curious about? Uh, something I'm experiencing at the moment, doing uh, a detox. <coughs> Do share. And, uh, <laughs> and um, using plants, um, hyssop, echinacea, and um, there's a certain mint plant. Um, so I have questions uh, around that. Um, why these certain plants? And, um, uh, and that's why I asked the question, are we merging with their um, uh, DNA um, mm. on a certain level, on a certain level? How, how is that? Um, because all the, all the detox uh, ideas that I'm uh, experiencing at the moment, it is to, um, to be able to cleanse the body of uh, um, ideas that uh, aren't serving us anymore. <coughs> well, we, we <coughs> let us say we assume we can see, let us say the thrust of your query, the idea simply being that, first of all, of course, you can understand in many ways that even your own, what you may call DNA, in many ways in actuality is a portal, let us say, towards infinite intelligence and infinite information. So in a sense, already within your own coding, on a holographic level, everything is contained, for it is in that sense a connecting point to anything and everything. At the same time, we would offer the perspective that the very, if you will, nature of most disease that you may deem yourself to be suffering from upon these times is very often due to, let us say, the artificiality of your environment and your own lifestyle and a certain, if you will, separation, disconnection and dissociation from your own body or put in different words, a dissociation from nature itself Therefore, you may find that while the permission slips and paths may be unique for every one of you, they may very, very, most oftentimes, include varying ideas of plants and nature concepts, whether it is, if you will, being more within the environment of nature, and also this idea of ingesting varying ideas of plants, even through different ways. This can be through sight, through taste, through digestion, through smell, and so on and so forth. This is simply the idea of, again, in a way, accustoming yourself, entering more in resonance with your own nature. For, again, you understand that the entirety of the planet in that sense 
that you may perceive already is your own manifestation, already is in that sense part of the parallel earth, part, if you will, of the oversoul of Gaia. So many, many plants therefore serve as this reflection of this connection and therefore may greatly assist you more in entering into resonance with that idea. So therefore we offer the perspective of not necessarily so much merging with the genetic idea of specific plants, but more in that sense, again, entering into the certain resonance fields of your own nature and your own nature therefore is blissful, joyous, and most certainly from your perspective, most healthy, if you can understand what we are implying. <clears throat> yes, I do. That makes, uh, of course, of course, it's just us. <laughs> of course, thank you. <clears throat> Does this answer your question within the specificity that you had desired? <clears throat> yes, it does. Yes, it does. And we thank you. I do, I do have another question, if uh, that's possible. Yes, kindly. Proceed. <laughs> um, other things that I've uh, been thinking about lately is I understand that um, our soul essence comes into the human forming body, is it about 64 days or around that time, that... Um, I'm understanding now that um, as soon as that happens, we're starting to co-create with our mother and with uh, everything else around us. Uh, I've, co I've come to that uh, understanding in a way through, through my own children and then being able to see without judgment um, how uh other children can be born and um so i've had lots of questions around that um starting to co-create and um with our mother for example because uh you that you can have mothers who decide to play music to their unborn babies and there's other mothers who decide to uh to uh, ingest certain drugs or uh, uh, other substances that, um, not just substances, but I suppose it's the emotions that the mother's feeling. Um, you know, that's, is that like a co-creation with your unborn child? And does that then have um, uh, effects on how the act how the child is actually going to um, to be when it's born into this uh, born to its mother <coughs> if you're able to um, expand on uh, a little bit of that please assuming we can understand the main idea that you are referring to we would simply like in that sense to offer the perspective of what you had shared, the idea of there being a certain point where in which, let us say, a soul chooses to incarnate, chooses to co-create with a human entity in order to be born. Of course, first of all, there is always this sense of co-creation even before this specific date, let us say. It is simply that in many ways, we could refer to this as the idea that imagine yourself as a soul in that sense, selecting to incarnate, choosing to incarnate, you now have the choice from within, if you will, an infinity in actuality, a true infinity of parallel realities. Therefore, also in many ways, an infinity of, if you will, potential conduits in this way that could assist you to incarnate within that particular world that you had chosen, again, out of an selection, out of an infinity of possible choices in this way. So then, upon making that choice and upon reaching this idea of an agreement of course any and all if you will further moments in this sense are co-created it is simply in a sense that within the first period that you had described the let us say conscious influence in that sense still has a different balancing <clears throat> allow us for one moment to if you will 
reconstruct that concept. We would simply say that all of it is a co-creation between the so-called mother and the to-be-expected child, yet also even here, this is the initial idea we would like to refer to, is that even if you will a soul choosing to incarnate with a particular mother, then that soul, if you will, is very much aware also of the potential and probable choices that that particular so-called mother entity may make. So therefore, even if you will, you could say in a sense, there can be many different perspectives upon the degree and the influence that the unborn baby has upon the so-called mother. It is always very much in agreement. And while within the idea then of being born, being an unborn child within the womb, and then also being incarnated, there is always, if you will, a certain sense of ideas potentially not being expected by the soul as it incarnates, yet from, you can understand that very high soul level perspective, there is a very clear layout of the potentialities and the most likely probabilities and the most important milestones, even including the period of when that child is still unborn, still within the womb of the mother. Can you relate to this idea we are conveying? Uh, yes, do. Yes, do. Does this refer to your question appropriately, or is there something else you wish to discuss? Uh, no, that uh, I understand. Thank you. No, we thank you. Could I just ask you one more question? If, uh... <clears throat> as you very well understand, that is a question as well. So, yes, you may. <clears throat> we um, are excited to assist. <clears throat> um, I'd like your, um, the, the drawings that I've uh, been doing, um, am I on the right uh, track? <clears throat> is that truly a question? Um, is there anything... Uh, or is that simply the expression, or let us say, potential remnants of any doubt that you may have about your own process, about the idea that, as by now you very well know, your life always unfolds within perfect synchronicity, and that whether or not these drawings, whatever they may be at this point, are the right path, very, very much solely depends on what we had discussed earlier the idea of whether you define it as positive or negative, whether you define it as a stumbling block or as, if you will, an accelerator pad, if you will. Thank you for sharing me my, um, resist my resistance that I have going on with that, yes. <laughs> we are happy to do so. And we merely do so to remind you that all the power already now lies with you. And very much so, we would also refer you to the idea again, which you may be becoming more and more familiar with, which is simply trusting. Trusting that whatever you imagine, even these, if you will, lofty ideas, even these most strange, if you will, visualizations, you can only connect to them. They can only be in that sense channeled through you because they are already contained with you and because most obviously, they are relevant to you. For you can understand, imagine just for one moment, the infinity and the infinite complexity of all the shapes and all the potential, if you will, visualizations, 
all the potential so-called drawings that could possibly be made. So therefore, whatever it is that is being expressed for you is not only valid, but is most obviously relevant to you and to your own path. And if you allow yourself to define it in this way, it may do in that sense, in a way, what it is here to do for you, which is to serve you in the further, if you will, acceleration, manifestation of whatever it is that you wish to go. Thank you. I did, I did know that. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now we are aware. So therefore, is there some other, if you will, doubt in your mind? Or is there some specificity that you would like to share about these drawings? If you wish us to, in that sense, comment. No, I think I, um, I think I'm on the right. Uh, you, you've just shown me that um, the doubt that I was having, um, I, I, I haven't got any doubt. The doubt was just uh, re coming back to me, and um, no, it's it's fine. Thank you. Are we? It's, uh, <laughs> it's my highest excitement. Are we? Thank you for <laughs> recognizing that. Thank you. Therefore. You did not need, truly need to ask, but you also know that. So we thank you once again, and we are happy to remind you of all of these ideas that truly you already know. Thank you. You are most welcome. So where do we go from here? Hello. <laughs> <coughs> well, Matt. <laughs> it's whatever you wish. <laughs> hmm. I would like to ask uh, more about your civilization, and uh, I want to know. Um, well, I think everything I wanted, wanted to ask, uh, I, I realize I know, so. <laughs> well, that, that is, if you will, also one of the ideas of how you can, in many ways, understand our perspective even more. For by now, you understand that everything you need to know, truly, you already know and even any questions that you may have in time, as you have proven to yourself time and time again, shall be answered. For the answer already is contained within the ability to ask the question. <clears throat> and by in that sense, short-circuiting yourself more and more, increasing your frequency more and more, you understand that all the answers in that sense are available within the now, and those answers that for whatever reason may not be available, simply are not required. Great, that's really good. An abundance of information in this way. Yes. So we have no further questions. Is, any, is there anything you would like to share more? In this now, we would simply like to thank you once again for the recognition of yourself as all of the ideas that you contain, all of the emotions, all of the belief systems, however different they may be, and of the recognition of the very core essence of your own being. And now allow yourself in each and every now, in each and every moment, to more and more consciously channel this idea. And even with all of these remnants of potentially limiting belief system, potential doubts, 
that you could be wrong, simply allow yourself or allow us in that sense to ring the bells for you, to remind you in each and every now, remind yourself in each and every now that everything is valid, that every step that you take is the perfect step within this now. For you are always contained within yourself. There is nothing extraneous. There is nothing superfluous. No matter how negative any situation may be, no matter what judgment may come up, simply allow yourself to catch yourself and to see yourself as you truly are in the sense an aspect of the one infinite creator, eternal and all loving. So be in that sense within the unconditionality of love within which you are residing anyways. That source is offering to you anyways in each and every now. Allow yourself in that sense to open up simply to this recognition of who and what you truly are and allow you being in that sense to be imbued allow your essence in that sense in this way truly to be supported by this energy and in that sense to let go of anything that now you recognize is no longer serving you is no longer in that sense able to hold up with this new recognition of yourself as simply being the unconditionality of love itself connected to anything and everything always here and now and even as you understand by now all knowing to be able to be confident in always taking the next step on your own journey within your own eternity free and loving as you are so with this idea we thank you. <clears throat> Most beautiful. Thank you. Very nice. Great. Thank you. Oh, it's perfect. You expanded on, on my channeling perfectly. Oh, this is just... I'm happy. I don't even know what you channeled, really. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for coming, girls. That was great. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, Luz, for asking questions. It was perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And see you some other time. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. -bye. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Bye.